first, I want to say uh, I am honored to be here. I'm so thankful that Vanessa did reach out to me. And I'm looking at this monitor and I'm like rubbernecking left and right because I've never seen so many people on a Zoom. I'm like, is this normal for you? Because it looks like you're breaking records on a Zoom, Zoom call right now. Man, that's amazing. I've been on a handful of Zoom calls and I haven't seen one with so many people and then they're engaging. I also see a lot of you guys uh, did comment and um, my D, uh, got, jumped in my DMs already. So I can tell you guys are a solid clan. It's not like people are doing their own thing, but you guys are working together, which is a bonus. And it's a big bonus, especially when it comes to social media marketing. And I wish I had a team even like uh, the size you have and that everyone's moving in the same accord which is very rare. Sometimes you see teams, there's a bunch of different leaders in the team, but moving in one unit, it's very rare. So you guys have something special. To that, I want you guys to really thank your leadership. Really thank your leadership. With Elias and Kenny, the way they lead, it says a lot about your team. And the, the way you guys act, it really reflects on their leadership. So you guys are very blessed to have great leaders. So I want to start with that. Um, yeah, so I wanted to jump in to talk to you guys. Of course, the market is changing and shifting. And I think more, uh, more than ever, you need to be on top of your game, on top of your knowledge, on top of what you want to deliver. But most importantly, who do you want to deliver your message to? Okay, so of course, as things are shifting, you need to shift, like Elias, uh, Elias said, with the market. Where, who is your audience? Where are they shifting? What's what are they concerned with the most? I think a lot of people are not addressing that. You still see people still posting properties, posting properties, posting properties. Yes, there was a season when posting properties were big. I'm not saying it's not big right now, but as the market's shifting, there's other concerns. So I think the most important thing right now is to understand their concerns. I think if you don't understand their concerns, how can you deliver a message? If I went, if you went to a room with a bunch of vegans, but you're trying to sell hamburger meat, are you going to sell anything? Most likely not, right? Even though everyone was eating hamburger meat forever, but now everyone's vegans. So you need to understand your audience and shift your message towards your audience. So of course, everyone's audience is different. So I think before you jump into any social media marketing, understand your audience. Once you understand your audience, you want to make a list of the pros and cons, what you know about and what you don't know about that your audience might ask you and start making a list. I make lists. I'm old school. I know some of you guys are iPad, iPhone. I have a, no, I have a notepad I write on, right? I still write on a notepad because there you go, my man, right? Because things shift and change and then you want to be able to write it down. And then someone might ask you a question that, hmm, I didn't think about that. And that's how I get a lot of my content because the more people, more questions people ask, the more content I get. Well, some of you guys might think, well, I don't have an audience. I don't know who to ask. I don't know what content to dig into. Friends and family. I used to work for a multi-level marketing company like back in the days. And what they did, what I learned from them was I made my list of top 100 people. Then I would email them. Then I would call them, right? With life insurance. It was with WFG, World Financial Group, long ago. Once I figured out it was a scam, trust me, I stopped, right? But I learned a lot of core values on how to build my list. So before you market or before you start, you know, displaying a message, find out who's your audience, where they pivot to, and write down your list. It's really important that you do that. Why is that important? Because like right now, I'm in Orange County, right? If you notice all my examples, I do everything with a 740 credit score. Why do I do a 740 credit score? I only want to mess with borrowers with a 740 credit score. And you guys, if you know this or if you don't, uh, TikTok is audio based. Instagram is visual based. So if you keep saying something over and over and over again, TikTok will find your audience. Okay. So I want you guys to know that. So of course, before you start releasing audio, messages you want to know your audience you want to know where they're pivoting to so i'm always going to deliver something and go back so i can you know you know not beat it in you but kind of uh let you remind you guys hey as you guys just put your message together make sure that you have a strategy make sure you know your audience where are they pivoting and okay what are you going to deliver for me my average loan amount is six hundred thousand to nine hundred 
I broker, I sell right now. I sell leads to uh, a specific lender. They have specific programs. I talk about their programs. Also, I broker a handful of deals. So mm -hmm. I know not to stay away from jumbo loans and arms, right? Even though they're products I answer questions uh, for when people ask, but I don't create scenarios based on arms and jumbo because it's out of my market, right? I would say if people go, I want an arm man or I want a jumbo loan. Well, go to the bank, go to this credit union. These are the top three credit unions to get arms from. If you want a HELOC, here's where you go get HELOCs, right? You never want to take on business unless, you know, um, your model might be di different. But for myself, I don't take on business that I'm not an expert at because I want to, I don't want to sit there and go, but eat, but eat, but eat, but eat, but eat, right? And be stuttering. If you go ever go to a doctor and you get an examination and they don't know what's wrong with you and they're just trying different things. You're like, this is my body. Like, why are you trying things? You should know how to fix my problem, right? So again, go back to your audience, pivot, write down your list and make sure you stay in your zone. Of course, as you progress as a real estate agent and you're entering into different markets, your zone might get bigger and bigger. So if you're a starter though, make sure you just stay in your zone. Is your audience first time home buyers? Is your audience new construction? Is your audience sellers, right? And then of course, where are these new construction buyers pivoting? Where are these um, exist uh, listings pivoting, right? Where are these first time home buyers pivoting? I have a friend of mine. He's been a real estate agent for two years. He's uh, he actually is part of EXP. His name is Suman Kim. He was not a real estate agent two years ago. He's killing it out in Austin. He just does new construction because he has a formula that he gets them into us. You guys can look him up. I think he's in Austin, Texas. Uh, he gets them into a system and he, once he uh, puts them, uh, he, he, uh, he uh, gets them into the house and then he goes on the next one. He just has a system. He does quantity, right? So he only does new construction. That's his model. And that's what he goes after. If it's a traditional sale, he doesn't even mess with it. Why is it? It's outside of his time frame, And, you know, oh, now they want to see more houses, more houses. He has to show them. It's a lot different than new construction, but that's his model. Okay. So that's what it's important for you guys to figure that out, right? Sit with your team, sit with your leaders. Sometimes it's hard to figure out, well, I don't know what I want. Well, as you start writing, and that's why I write over text uh, messaging on the phone, but some guys might want to do that. When a text message pops up, you get distracted, boom, you start answering the text or an alert happens. Oh my gosh, you do this. Oh, another alert happens. And then you get distracted. Sit down, get a piece of paper, write down, right? Who's my audience? Where are they pivoting? Okay, is this in my, in my wheelhouse? All right, so what is what audio words can I say if I'm going to use TikTok to drive that audience? It's going to take a couple of months, okay? And Instagram, it's all visual. So show something. Show, like, let's say you are picking Oakland, right? Let's say Oakland is your area. Start showing local restaurants while you film. Instagram's not stupid. They're going to be like, oh, this person's always at this restaurant. This person, so they know your audience and they're going to start driving your audience to you. Uh, there's another agent I do business with. She's been a real estate agent for three years. And she's, um, she's part, I, don't, I forgot what uh, company she's part of, um, but she's been an agent for three years. I don't deal with her directly. My team deals with her. That's how little I know, but I see her strategy, right? She only does TikTok. She's audio, audio, Orange County, LA County. Her name is Kina DeSantis. You can look her up. But when she closes a transaction, she makes sure it's IG ready. So when she closed, there's champagne, there's smokes, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's, you know, fire, a little pop, like that with the smoke comes out. But her audience is, um, you know, they're IG type of girl, women that like to flex on the internet, right? They're like the Pinterest era, that Pinterest model. So of course, she does it. Of course, she posts. They repost it on her page. And they're like, who's that agent? She closed about 50 transactions. She has four buyer agents with her. She closed about 50 transactions before the month of May. She's been an agent for three years. She's 100% social media. And it's TikTok, not even Instagram. And her TikTok only has 20,000 followers. To close 50 transactions before May in three years with only 20,000 followers on TikTok, it's amazing. But because her audience is just local. So they say with real estate, unless you plan on changing the world or taking over the world, you know, you don't need a huge audience. You need an audience that pays attention to you. And the only way to do it is to know your audience, know where they're pivoting, 
put together your game plan and make sure you focus and you, and you keep pushing on that game plan. It's going to take a couple months. If you don't do that it, right now, you can still grow on TikTok. Of course, something else will come out later on, but you can still grow on TikTok right now. I'm a big Instagram person because I'm already on like the Instagram wave. We're averaging 300 followers a day on Instagram. On um, TikTok, I'm averaging about 50 followers a day. And then YouTube show, on YouTube, about 10 followers a day because I'm not really putting too much emphasis on YouTube right now. I just know it's a, it's a good play, but it's, it's, it's a long play. It just takes a while. If you need, to, you need business now, for me, I would go TikTok, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, which is kind of weird. Pinterest is going to build a big audience, a better, uh, a pretty good audience after a while. And then tick, and then uh, YouTube. That's what I, I would do, right? That's what my strategy. Just know that because sometimes also, also if you're starting, don't be so overwhelmed. Well, I know people say every platform uh, does things differently. I get it. But you are professional agents as well. As well. Don't overwhelm yourself. Well, I need to change this for this platform, change this for this platform. Just do, you know, your video and then post it on all platforms. Until you can build enough time, you're making enough money, you have enough assistance where you can multi, you can do multi-platforms differently. But for now, don't overwhelm yourself. Make it easy. Because once you write all that information, producing the content is next. So I think, of course, right now, just go on, on your phone, make your content, get over being camera shy if you are. If you're not, then it's good. But if you are, you got to get over it. The more you hate doing it, get over it. Some of you guys, join the pack together, go karaoke somewhere, right? Pick a bar and go karaoke. Pick a song that you don't know the words to and get on stage. You want to pick a song you don't know any words to, right? Um, the reason why, dude, I thought I knew Baby Got Back until I went on stage and I had to rap it. I didn't know a single <laughs> word. You start sweating profusively and you get your face turns red because you get embarrassed. But every, did you die? No. Did anything bad happen? No, right? but you got to get over it, right? As you're building your pay, as you're building your data and you're figuring out your borrower, your client, right? Some of you guys might have more clients than uh, uh, other guys, right? Other people, but work together. You have a team. You guys have great leader. You got the one percenter on your team. Are you kidding me? I would, you know, that's like amazing, right? So work together. Like, okay, so make a list of the different types of clients, I'm sure there's different groups, right? There's only a handful of groups. I'm pretty sure there's more, but there's a handful. And then break it apart. Like I'll share with you guys what I do, okay? I'm not here to offend anybody. If you are offended, right? Take it up with Kenny and Elias, right? So I only, I mostly want Republican buyers because I know they're wage earners. They got W, I mean, and they got 401k and they have good credit. Not all, but if you look at my content, I I, I, I kind of smear Newsom enough, just a smidge here and there, but I'm, I have my clientele. I'm building off of it, right? That's who I, I really believe in certain politics. And because of that, I get a lot of engagement people arguing back and forth, and that helps my engagement. But I build my, uh, I have my audience. I know what I want. I know what they're looking for. That's why I don't deal with talking about credit repair. I don't talk about saving money, right? I talk about how to use your 401k. I do things I know most Republicans, their profile, the, what fits their profile, how they're pivoting, they're, them being conservative, right? I know they're anti-printing more money right now. So even though I don't say, oh, I'm a Republican, uh, if you're not a Republican, you can't, you might pay, you can't, you know, get a loan from me. I don't say those, but you can see how I paint the picture. Of course, I got mad respect for Kenny because I've been on his page. That guy's as honest as honest can be. Uh, you know, if you are of the faint hearted, do not follow his page, right? So that's why he's honest, but see, he's honest and he still has buyers and he still has sellers. So you got to be honest with yourself. For me, I'm not as aggressive, but everyone's strategy is going to be different. So like I said, find out who's your audience find out where they're pivoting, make your list. Also make a list of your strengths and weaknesses and get over being camera shy. You know, that's a lot for me to say so far. I can keep going. Um, we A and B test ads all day long. That's like another day. If you guys want to go over Facebook ad, Instagram ads, um, we tried TikTok ads. It wasn't that great yet for us, but we're building on that. But I uh, hopefully, hopefully I shared a good amount of information. I would love to get some feedback and I can answer some questions because I know a lot of you guys did DM me and I want to make sure you, I have an you have an opportunity to get your question answered.